What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to create a remarketing audience in your Facebook. So if you wanna remarket to people that visited your landing page or people that visited your sales page after going through the landing page, you can target those people and show the advertisements only to them. In addition, you can use it for lookalike audiences, which I'll get into in the next video. So let me show you how you can do that. First thing we'll need to do is head over here into Power Editor or whatever tab you're in. Click on Old Tools and go to Audiences, unless you already have it there, but we need to get to Audiences. And we need to create a new audience. So in the next video, I'll go over Lookalike. For this video, let's click on Create a Custom Audience. And you can either upload uh, the emails and information from people that you already have. So for example, uh, if, if you just have an Excel file, for example, or if you have it on MailChimp, Facebook integrates with them. You can just upload all your contacts here and you can use them as your list to whom you want to target, right? So incredibly useful if you have a list of people that have already bought your item, you can show these ads only to them. It's amazing how much Facebook can do. So I'm just gonna go back here. So let's say we want to create a remarketing list. So I'll click on website traffic. Now, if, you, if you're still unsure, you don't know how to put a pixel onto your website pages, uh, I have a short 15 minute video that includes everything you need to know on how to put the pixels on your pages. I'll have a link up above. Um, in that video, I mentioned that you need to install the base code onto every single page um, that you own. And this is why it's incredibly, it's, it's, it's very important that you do that or that you have done it for this reason, because take a look here, you can select people that visited your page in the last X number of days. So if you put your pixel or if you don't put your pixel now, you can't really use this. You have to start from scratch. You have to start over. Now this goes up to 180 days. So guess what? If you put your pixel half a year ago and then then you can still use this data and you can remarket to those people so incredibly useful stuff right which is why i said it's important in that video that you put the pixel in asap as soon as you start using facebook ads just put the pixel on every single one of your pages anyway so here's what you would do um so suppose you want to remarket to people that visited your landing page okay so our landing page here is this one uh, marketingsuccess.site slash home page so I would go here. Now, if you're looking at this, uh, anyone who visits your website, this will only have the domain name. So this is pretty useful if you have a domain name, like, like one website with one domain name, which has tons of different pages in there, like 20 different pages. And you just want to track people that, um, that have been to any single one of those. In that case, you would just put your domain name, right? However, if you have a domain name followed by a sub ID, like marketing site slash homepage, marketing site slash testimonials, and you only want to target people that visited a, a certain one of those, what we would have to do is actually not put that in and say custom combination, right? And then over here, we will say URL contains. So for example, let me just copy this one. And I'm going to delete all that stuff. But here, as you can see, it says homepage. And here's just that and that's it so that's um that's that so any url that will contain the following that will be included in my list uh now i can add exclusions i can say people that visited this page but have not visited this page so um people that visited my landing page but have not seen my landing page for another product right then i would say exclude that or right here you have all these things so people who visited specific web pages so here i have several here i have included visited pages but not others so like i just mentioned they visited my home page but they haven't visited my testimonials page and i want to show them an ad saying hey have you seen this testimonial right something like that or who haven't visited in a certain period of time which is kind of um in in regards to this in the last number of days you you want to also be careful with that because if you put it too short then or if, if you put it too long, then people who may have visited your page 180 days ago, they may have completely forgotten about the offer. They, they may not even be looking for it anymore. So you're at risk that this will be completely irrelevant to them, right? And then if you make it too short, then you're at risk of losing good clients. Because if there's someone who saw your page uh, one day ago, 
and then he wants to buy something in five days if you put your in the last for example two days range if you put two days there you're gonna miss that person right so just be careful with with what you put here I mean I'd normally maybe put 90 days okay but you can put whatever you want to uh, and yeah that's about it so definitely include past website traffic right once you do that create a name so um, visitors to my site click create audience now this will probably be too small yeah you need at least 20 people to be able to use it for a lookalike to be able to use it as an audience you need at least 20 people uh, and after you do that let's go into power editor and let's let me actually show you where how, how you would use this so in my targeting list here's my ad set I'm gonna click on edit and for my audience it should be here custom audience okay so you have all audiences you have a lookalike which we'll get into and you have custom so it would show up here so visitors to my site you would just add that and well this is too small right but that's what you would do you would say that and if you go back to audiences it will it will kind of update right so it will it will tell you how many people there are Facebook's really really good at that at updating live as you saw in our video in pixels where it just like instantly uh, recognizes that the pixel has been included except of course in the beginning stage where it takes like 10 minutes but aside from that it's very fast so that's about it that's how you create this remarketing list to people that visited maybe one page but not others vice versa whatever you want to do everything's there everything's included if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.